So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to make a mic boom out of this painting uh, pole. It, the end broke off and so um, I figured I'd be resourceful and uh, make a mic boom. As you can see it's about eight feet long which is a pretty good length for a mic boom. For the microphone mount I'm going to use one of these little inserts that comes with a brand new microphone. I, I don't think I've ever used one of these but I'm going to use one today. If you notice it's threaded on the inside that's three eighths inch threads. So I found a three eighths inch bolt in my junk bin. It should be a perfect size. The old threaded insert is going to need to be removed but you can see that those have little divots that hold that in. Now my first impression was just, just to cut that off uh, and then um, go from there but I'm going to try to just uh, drill those out and twist it off with a channel lock. Catch recording. So now I take that with the channel locks, twist it up. Now what I have here is a big chunk of plastic and this is what I'm going to cut it out of. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole in, in this plastic and we'll see uh, if it's too big or too small. It's a little bit loose in there, but that's okay, we can compensate for that. What I've done here is to put a bolt through the piece of plastic and uh, put a nut on the other end. I'm going to put it in the drill press here, but before I do that I'm going to wrap it with some black tape so it doesn't mess up the threads. And I'm going to run a file over that. It's a little snug, which is good. I'm going to dress up the ends and I'm going to tap it. I decided I'm going to go with a longer bolt because I want the bolt to go all the way through and uh, and then to reach into the adapter. So let me go get another bolt. That's more the size that I'm looking for. We're going to drill that out and tap it. So just tap it all the way through there. Now I've got the bolt in the vise and I'm going to try to cinch that down all the way. Now it worked. Now that looks kind of rough, but that doesn't matter. It's all going to be inside of that tube there. And it's going to fit down in there. Now I wrapped a little bit of electrical tape around there so it would have a little bit tighter of a fit. See that? It's pretty tight. Now this fits on there and it's a little tight because I kind of messed up the threads but that's okay but before I go any further I'm going to put a, a screw or a pop rivet I have each side of there as you can see the pop rivets are just a little bit too long I'm going to actually drill through that hole and into that bolt there
Well, as you can see, it's not straight. But that's not going to matter because you can swivel that microphone clamp any way you want to. And there you have it. It's beautiful, isn't it? So there you have it. An 8-foot boom mic. And here's the question. I used plastic. I could have used metal. But, would woodworking with wood would have worked? Until next time.